Uh, yo, what up, YouTube? It's Bryce, and I probably have the straight up Blues Clues thumbnail because we're out here and it is mail time. Um, I don't know which of these packages contains it, but I'm fairly certain there's going to be an, an exciting card in here. Uh, so, this one, I'll start with this. I opened them obviously, but I haven't looked yet. Um, this is like a straight up plastic bag that is an envelope, so that's pretty interesting there. Um, and the first Yu-Gi-Oh trading card. Uh, actually, it's several Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards. Uh, it looks like, let me cut this open real quick. I coincidentally have the scissors here. All right, yeah, so it's definitely at least this, but I bought a few things from this person, so I wonder if it's all in one sleeve. Um, this is also taped. <laughs> Why, sir? I mean, I guess thank you for the good packaging, but this is making it very difficult to get a taped standard, like, I guess, Yu-Gi-Oh sized sleeve <laughs> cut open safely. But they're not super high value cards anyway, but they are dope. They are a play set of Spanish first scapegoats from Starter Deck Joey. So it's pretty cool. Looks really shiny in this light. Put those back there in view I guess a little bit all right and so I'm hoping the card is in this one because it's a thick envelope um but maybe it is in this one so we will see what is in here moment of truth <gasps> all right there it is there it is see that little man peeking out um trying to determine all the there's a bunch of weird packaging today that I've never seen before uh, but here we go all right I found it Let's take this man out and inspect it. It's on the outside of the top loader for some reason. Um, but there it is. Oops. I don't know if my hands are clean, so we're not gonna take it out of the sleeve. I was gonna say, let's just take it out. It won't focus, but it's a TP4002 morphing jar. Uh, the super rare morphing jar. So this is definitely the most money I've ever spent on a card. It looks beautiful in this light. Uh, I'm really happy, honestly. Uh, look at that thing. Let's check out the back. Um, guess this corner has a little bit of play wear. And this has a really small amount of play wear down there. So yeah, uh, this was described as moderately played and apparently moderately played means that one nick on that corner. So I'm very happy with this card. So happy. And then, yeah, I'll be happy with whatever's in this one after that. <laughs> all right, this is the meme right here. I guess I'll open it all on video, because why not? But basically, I bought like 75 cards on TCG Player for um, $5 total. So I like to do that sometimes. It's like, why buy a pack when you could buy a bunch of cards? for uh, basically the same price. Uh, and you'll know that they're gonna be at least something you kind of want, at least. So some of this stuff is incredibly random because it was like, all right, this is a hollow that I'm buying for one cent, literally a penny. Um, so I was just like, all right, just to fill up my $5, I struggled to even find enough items. But yeah, again, this is like, I don't understand what this even is, uh, that this is packaged in. I've never, this is three for three, three for three with weird packaging that I've never seen before, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, let's start going through them. Got, I think, a, I got one Beat Raptor, uh, Dances with Beasts, a couple of those. Got an Evil Eye Awakening, uh, Evil Eye Repose. Evil Eye Retribution, uh, Peaceful Burial, a pretty good card, uh, Pendulum Halt, uh, Common, a DD Patrol Plane, that was definitely a penny though, I was like maybe it'll get OP at some point, I don't even know if this is used, but it was a cent, um, Broken Line, yeah, it's probably, I didn't spend a lot of money on that, this is actually one of the highlights of what I picked up, it's a Dark Revelation 2, um, burst stream of destruction. So that's pretty nice to pick that up cheap. Got a latency, uh, some Preta plant, a flambell magician. That's a throwback right there. Uh, some more commons, but they're commons that are like somewhat interesting. We got the 
Super Vehicle Roid Mobile Base and the Toon Barrel Dragons. Um, we got a Garnetia Elephantis there. Shiny Yu-Gi-Oh trading card. Um, got a Hypno Sister. A couple of these things. Um, <laughs> I got a Gaia the Magical Knight. Uh, play set of these Machina Re Savengers. Uh, Red Potent. Spiral Fusion, Thunder Hand, uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh card. This one's not even that bad, actually. Uh, Super Sandman, a random giant rat for like seven cents or something. Marionette Might in a similar situation. Uh, an Ultra Gold Gadget. And then we've got a bunch more cards to go through, too. Once again, I spent $5 on uh, all of this, plus a few Pokemon cards. Uh, so we've got another Ultra Gold Gadget, we've got a Gold Gold Gadget, uh, Gishki Vision, that's not the OG printing, uh, we've got a couple of the rare BLS, uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, this might be the first one of this card I've ever owned in any rarity actually. Um, got a couple, or a playset of Curse of Dragonfires, a couple Dark Flare Dragons, I'm almost positive these were one cent a piece. Got a couple Fluffle Angels. Very shiny. Wow. <laughs> uh, got a Fright for Meister. Again, very shiny. Um, Fright for Sabretooth. Don't blind yourself, folks. Wow. Um, I guess we got four Light Pulsars. Why not? I don't know what this does, but it's generic. Uh, a couple Stardust Dragons for less than a quarter total. Uh, I'm almost certain these six Starlight Roads were one cent a piece. Uh, Supervises, sure. Uh, Toon World, why not? And then the last card of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, at least, is for Witch of the Black Forests, which I paid four cents for. Uh, so that's always fun. And then the last thing to end our video be some non-Yu-Gi-Oh cards. None of these are really worth anything, the Pokemon cards, but, uh, I don't know, I was just like, why not? I'm sorry, I'm trying to, like, get the scissors into a top loader, that's why my voice sounded odd there. But yeah, I'm excited to show these Pokemon cards, and then show the Morphing Jar in the light another time. Um, yeah, so we've got a Ghastly, we got a, an owl, a Quillfish or whatever, Quillfish, yeah. Uh, and then we got this Alolan Ponyta, or Galarian Ponyta, I guess. I didn't actually read it, I just assumed, but I haven't played the games in the past few generations. But yeah, we got this Young Ponyta, we got Ghastly. Oh, there's three cents right there or something. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about, I swear I ordered more cards from this guy. Uh, they were separate listings, but I'm confused why they'd get here on separate days, basically, or not be packaged together. Uh, but anyway, show that in the light one more time. And we're gonna fuck around. We're gonna fuck around, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna sleeve that up, and, uh, I will see you next time I do a mail opening or something. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.